what the theme of Unit 5 is, what the whole thing is about, and if you can't remember, it's back on the board. Go ahead, Chloe. Heroes? We're talking about heroes. What is the theme question, Steph? What qualities, what qualities, and everybody see, what qualities does a hero have? Now, we talked last week about qualities a hero has. Can anybody raise their hand and tell me one quality that we talked about? Naziah? Strength, okay. And is strength one of our, I think that's one of our vocabulary words. What's another quality? Alex? Determination, that's a good quality. Keston? Kindness. Kindness. Geneva? Courage. How many people remember learning how to ride their bike without training wheels? Did it take courage to try that? Because it was kind of scary, huh? Maybe you have a little brother or sister that would consider you a hero with your courage about riding without training wheels. Never mind. Okay, so let's everybody turn back to page chapter one and two, and let's just warm ourselves up on what we have already read. We have read about real people from history. Can any, does anybody remember somebody that we read about last week? Martin Luther King Jr. Seth? Chief Joseph. Bill? Ellen. And what did she do? She was a what? Um, a woman. Um, she um, completed four missions in space. She was an astronaut, right? Okay. Um, and we also talked about um, some stories that have hero qualities but might not be real people. What am I thinking about? Really? Remember what, when we talked about Greek mythology, like. Hercules and Prometheus, and so they have, they're heroes, they're just stories that we tell, okay? So we're on chapter three, and let's do our focus question number one. So our focus question is, why do we tell stories about heroes from the past? Why do we? Does anybody have a <coughs> inference or a prediction on why we tell stories? Okay, Shelby said we tell stories about people from the past to remember them. Okay, here Alex, she said that we teach, that we tell stories to teach, maybe lessons, huh? Okay, we usually have a, the stories, we usually have a problem that we have to solve. Okay, let's do one more step. To encourage people, okay. Now let's look at the title of chapter three. Ashton, what's the title of chapter three? Everyday heroes. We talked about everyday heroes. Look at those pictures. Are they famous people? No. What do you see on that page, Crystal? The page that you're on. What do you see? Everyday heroes could be a what? I see. An everyday hero could be a doctor. Are there any yellow words that we need to talk about? Can any does Anybody need their background knowledge on famous? You do? Can anybody build Nazaya's background knowledge? Bill. Um, someone talk, who, talk to um, her. Someone who, okay. So you're saying Bill, famous is well known? Okay. Do you have to be liked? Okay. Doesn't matter if you're liked or not. Just a lot of people know you. That's actually one of our vocabulary words this week. Famous. Um, any other vocabulary words that we see? Did you find one? Did I miss one? Amazing. Okay. Do I have any predictions for chapter three? What we're going to read about based on your picture walk? Geneva? Let's turn to page 278. Folks, on your laps, please. Now you're welcome to follow along with our reader guy. You might be hard for us to follow, but we do our best, okay? So, Mal's ready. One, two. Chapter three. Everyday heroes. Have you? Have you ever met a hero? You may have without knowing it. Many people do heroic things every day. They might not wear superhero costumes, but they, but they make, make a, a difference, difference in people's, people's lives 
and in the world. world. Okay. If I click on it, it'll give us the, de the definition. A commitment to solve a problem or finish a task. Do you think that would be a good quality for a hero? I do too. Okay, let's just listen, follow along with your eyes, to the caption. A young girl takes care of her grandfather. That would be a hero. Huh? Alex, you kind of looked like surprised that that little girl would be a hero. Do you think Grandpa thinks she's a hero because she's helping him out? Many people think of doctors as heroes. How many people think doctors are heroes? And then do you think they had to have a lot of determination to get through school? Mm. It takes a long time to become a doctor, huh? Because when she was 35 years old, Mother Teresa worked to help the poor in India. How many people have heard of Mother Teresa? Have you? Do you know anything about her? No, but I just heard about her. So we can learn a little something from that caption. What did she do? She helped the poor. Okay. I think there's one more caption we can hit before we move on. Every day, firefighters risk their lives to help people. That would be a scary job, wouldn't it? We can move this. Turn the page. Okay. So we're reading about a little boy, and do you see this? What does that mean? He's still alive. Okay, let's let, let's follow along with. Wellmaker, Ryan Preljak, 1991. In 1998, when he was in first grade. Ryan, Ryan found, found that, that some children, children in poor countries didn't, didn't have clean water to drink. He began, he began working, working hard to raise money so that he could help to build a well. well. And what's a well? Can I, I have a connection. Can I connect you? Yeah. When I read Uganda, Africa, Mrs. Warner's daughter went to Uganda and spent like six months there this year helping children like in that picture in orphanages. Isn't that cool? Okay. So, as we read this, did we notice qualities that we've been talking about from all of the heroes that, they, that we read about? Okay, we will continue on in our paper reader tomorrow. For today, I need group I to meet me at the table. Group A, oh, don't move. Remember, I was going to explain that worksheet that I gave you already. Oh yeah, this is the most. I really want you guys to get writing your story about your hero in your journals. Okay. okay. So when you're done with this at your desk, you can go back to the stump with your journal and write your story. Okay.